Central has been blessed through the years with many dedicated friends attending our events. Each year some of them gain their eternal reward. Although our events continue, we miss those people who have enjoyed them with us. The college has a group known as Dedicated Friends to help us remember the ones who have gone before us. Tonight, we honor Jack Richardson as a dedicated friend of Central Christian College of the Bible. Jack Richardson was born in 1936 in Macon County near Atlanta, Missouri. He graduated from Macon High School in 1953. He attended Chillicothe Bible College in 1956, completing 12 credits before the college closed in December. The next spring, Northern Missouri churches planned to start a new Bible college. Jack attended planning meetings and helped prepare the original facility. When classes began that fall, he transferred into the college he helped start. Jack was the 16th student enrolled on September 2, 1957. According to his file, Jack preached the first Sunday of every month at Union Chapel in Jacksonville, Missouri. The following year, Karen Westergaard, who had also been a student at Chillicothe Bible College, transferred her credits and became student number 42. Although Jack Richardson came with firm restoration movement convictions to learn more about the Bible, he never earned his own degree, but he did earn a lifelong companion. Jack and Karen Richardson were married in 1960 in the basement of Union Avenue Christian Church. Gareth Reese said of his former student, Jack worked diligently at his classes to master what was being taught, but he was more interested in what he could build with his hands than in filling a pulpit and being a preacher. I think he was never quite confident he could be a preacher, but he was confident he could still help churches fulfill their mission in another way. Jack went to work as a project foreman for Goodman Church Builders. He built churches and colleges in Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Pennsylvania, Nebraska, and Tennessee. The facilities Jack helped construct at Ozark Christian College, Johnson Bible College, and Central Christian College of the Bible have helped thousands learn God's Word and consider special service for the church. Pelfrey Hall was one of Jack's buildings. As foreman, he read the blueprints, ordered materials, hired workers, and monitored the accuracy of the work being done. When one workman was installing the drop ceiling grid, he noticed the blueprints had the hallway ceiling tile at two different heights. After Jack heard about the inconsistency, he consulted the blueprints, studied them carefully, and found that the plans called for two different heights. Jack reaffirmed that the grid should be precisely installed according to the plans. And if you look up when you walk into the hallway outside the Furneaux Center, you can see a one-inch difference in ceiling height at the doorway in the hall. That's because Jack made sure the plans were being followed. In the same way, Jack wanted to make sure the church did things as described in the New Testament. He was constantly promoting the principles of the Restoration Movement. During the first part of Jack and Karen's marriage, they moved a lot, but they became involved in the local Christian churches where they lived. They were members who could be counted on to be there and do whatever the congregation needed. When he and Karen were in Moberly, they were very active in Union Avenue Christian Church. They were married in the original building's basement, and he later helped build the upstairs and the auditorium. His last project before retiring was Pelfrey Hall, and he and Karen stayed in Moberly. They and their three children were an active part of the community. Jack was a devoted husband and father, as well as grandpa to 10 grandchildren and seven great-grandchildren. Jack always loved the college he attended. Through the years, Jack and Karen came faithfully to our events. They enjoyed seeing many of their friends, especially their classmates from the college's early years. After Karen passed away in 2015, we recognized her as our dedicated friend at the 2016 Women's Banquet. Jack attended that night, watching with pride as his wife was remembered. The last event he attended on our campus was December 7, 2016, when we recognized Ron Self for his long-standing service to the Board of Directors. He and Ron had been fellow Central students, church members, and Moberly residents. Jack walked across the street from a local care center to eat lunch and see his friend honored. Less than three weeks later, shortly after suffering a stroke, Jack went to be with the Lord two days after Christmas. When it came time for his funeral, the family selected Pathway Memorial Funeral Home, formerly the home of Union Avenue Christian Church. That location was meaningful to Jack Richardson for almost 60 years. As a college student, he attended chapel services at the church. As a young man, he was married to his wife in the basement of the facility. As a project foreman, he had overseen the expansion and construction of the facility. 
When the funeral home remodeled the property, he stopped by regularly to help them understand the facility's details. His body was prepared for burial in a room above where he had been married, and his memorial service was conducted in the auditorium where he worshipped for years. During his career, Jack helped build the structures of both Union Avenue Timber Lake Christian Church and Central Christian College of the Bible. For over 60 years, they have worked to build each other. The college has prepared ministry staff, lay leaders, and volunteer workers for the church. And the church has provided over a half million dollars of gifts, countless prayers and students, and a place for our students and staff to belong. His friendship in all these ways is why we honor Jack Richardson as a dedicated friend of Central Christian College of the Bible. Offering gifts in his memory helps provide the full tuition scholarship to students like him and his wife who come to learn God's word and prepare for a lifetime of service. We are thankful that the family of Jack Richardson has made a generous lead gift towards our 2018 Men's Day offering. Thank you for joining them with your donation to Central Christian College of the Bible.